of our artists. Last me, eh? And it was very successful. Okay. And actually, next week I'm traveling there again. Next week, eh? Yes. Okay. To prepare for a big show uh, on November, also in the Habitat Center. Oh, big show in November. H-A-B-I-T-A-T, Habitat Center, yeah. Delhi. Yes, right. which will, uh, it's for Yaakov Agam, Yaakov Agam. Akov? Yaakov, Y-A-A, Y-A-A-C-O-V, uh -huh. Agam, A-J-A-M, A-G, no, no, sorry, A-G-A-M. Oh, what it is? He's, he's, this is the name of the artist uh -huh. that will have a show for him in November. Our artist, huh? Yes, he's 86 years old. 86 years old, huh? Yes, mm -hmm. and he's the founder of Kinetic Art. Founder of Kinetic Art. Kinetic Art, yes. How you spell the Kinetic Art? Kinetic, K-I... Oh, K-I-N-E-T-I-C. Yes, Kinetic Art. Okay. Uh, that's about uh, why. Uh, why is this 86-year-old artist interested, or what is it depicting about India? This artist is famous, I would say, almost all around the world. Uh -huh. <clears throat> he had shows in the Guggenheim Museum in New York. Uh -huh. He has a permanent show in the Pompidou Center in Paris. Okay, New York, Paris. He has museum on his name in Israel. Israel where? In uh, Tel Aviv. Okay. And uh, in the last few years, together with us, is uh, becoming more and more famous in Asia. Uh -huh. He had a big show in uh, uh, Taiwan Art Museum in Taipei. Mm -hmm. Last year we had a show for him here in Singapore. Right. And this year we're going to have in Delhi. Last year, this big show last year was in Singapore. Yes. And when was it in Singapore? May 2013. Last year, May in Singapore. This year, November in Delhi. Delhi. Yes. This November, Delhi. Do you think that he's got a big following there? I think so because it is a very special and unique work, uh -huh. and uh, I'm, I'm sure he will have a lot of interest. Right. Generally, what do you see, if, how do Indians see Israel art? Generally, uh, we had very good experience regarding the reception. We uh, have very good reception in India mm -hmm. for Israeli art. The audience uh, in May liked us very much. In May this year? This year, yes, mm -hmm. last May. And we were able to gather a lot of uh, coverage in the media. Uh -huh. We had, I think, about uh, 20 articles in 20 different newspapers. Right. White coverage on. in India. White coverage, yes. Right, yeah. And uh, when you go to next week to uh, New Delhi for that, preparing the show, what exactly are you going to do there? We are going to meet with the uh, local that uh, help us organizing the show. Who uh, would that be local? Um, there are the people from the Israeli embassy. Uh -huh. French embassy, because this artist has a French uh, citizenship as well. French, okay. And the uh, uh, curator and manager of the visual gallery at the Habitat Center. Curator, manager, visual... Gallery, yeah? Dr. Alka Pande. Dr. Alka? Alka Pande. Yeah. A L K A P A N D E Y? No, E. Pande. D E. O D E. Yeah. So she's got shot. Okay, good. And uh, how much uh, or the number of exhibits would be? How many exhibits are you going to put up? We assume 30 pieces. 30 pieces of this? Artist, yes. 30 pieces, huh? And which is the oldest of the, of the piece that will be... From 
Uh, we can see the piece later on. It shows a piece that he did as a mock-up. Uh, it's, it called, it's called Pace of Time. P-A-C. Pace, Pace of, time. of Time. Yep. Pace. P-A-C-E. Uh -huh. And this a piece that we have was a, a demonstration uh -huh. for a huge piece which is at the entrance to the Tel Aviv Museum. Demonstration of huge piece at the entrance of Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv Museum. Museum, eh? Yes. Okay, any other uh, of the 30 piece, any other piece that you can show me or describe to me how the culturally Yes, are being there's, an there's another piece I'll show you, mm -hmm. uh, which it's titled Two Times Three Equals Four. Two Times Three Equals Four. Yes, this artist uh, actually brought the idea of the fourth dimension into art. Fourth dimension into art. Yes, a painting, no, usually a painting is two dimension. Right. A sculpture is three dimension, yeah. and these pieces of art are, have four dimension. Four dimension. Yeah, the fourth dimension actually it's the time and place. Okay, that's well described. Yes, because in, in his art, when you when time changes, the work changes, or if you change your position, the work looks different. Right. That's so good. this is the fourth dimension. Two times three, four. Yes. That's only the Indian and Israeli can do such matters. Yes. Good. Great. Anything else you want to give a message to your potential audience and visitors to your show in India? Uh, yes, I want to also talk about these two young artists. That young artists. What are they? Are you going to put their work there? No, but probably our next show will be of their works because, uh, in, in contrary to this 86-old guy, mm -hmm. they are young artists, emerging artists. Uh -huh that in some way following his uh, steps by dealing with time and order. Okay. Uh, you can see the works around here. Mm -hmm. They're both of them. All right. And which are unique in this sense that uh, there is much philosophy and thoughts behind the, the work. Right. They can share some... May I you. ask his name, sir? Yes. Eyal Radunowitz. How do you spell it? A E Y E Y E Y A L R A D R A D R A D W I N O W I N O W I T Z. W I T Z. Okay. E L, huh? Yes. R A D yeah? R A D W I N O W I T Z. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you? What? What is it that is a young? How old are you, my friend? I'm 35. 35 young. I'm 64 young. <laughs> what is it that you bring about in this art that you think you want to send a message okay. of, especially message of peace, a message of love? Well, as far as my art, what I what I seek to portray uh -huh. is energy, mm -hmm. and that's why I am I'm in my. Um, artistic psalm and abstract artist because I see energy uh, the way it can be it cannot be seen but it can be very much sensed then uh -huh. abstract art is the best way I can portray it right. as far as what I want to bring I want to um, I paint scenes in an abstract way uh -huh. and I'm inspired by the scenes that I uh, paint they're um, some way inspired by my surroundings Okay. And um, I'm from Tel Aviv, which is um, a city which is very uh, um, vibrant, uh -huh. uh, very multicultural, uh -huh. and um, its scenes are, are depicted in my paintings. Um, other scenes are from other places in the world that I lived in and also visited, and um, other scenes are based on ideas that are um, also... Um, have to do with a positive, yeah. peaceful... How long are you going to hold the Delhi show from November? About one month. One month show? Three, we three weeks show. Yeah. Three weeks show? Uh, have you set the date? Yeah, it will start on uh, November 10. We did not set the opening night yet. November 10, huh? Yes. That's it, yeah. yeah. Right, sir. Let me take a bit of code from my friend here. Anything? You got longer hair than I have. My mm. mind is no more than Good. much more like that. You know, Sikhs are supposed to have a big hair bun. No, I don't have it. I'm better than him. <laughs> All covered up. 
May I know your sir? My, na- my name is Roy Yariv. R O Y. R O Y. Yariv. Uh huh. Y A. Uh huh. R I V. L L I. Yariv. Y A R I V. R I V. Yes. And how old are you, sir? Thirty-six. Thirty-six. And what have you been doing in in art? Um, I'm dealing um, with the. Um, the chaos and the order in the nature in uh, phenomena that uh, chaos order uh-huh. and phenomena uh-huh. that I found uh, in nature uh-huh. um, most of my work are uh, I'm using a neo geometric style or neo geometric abstract neo geometric abstract okay abstract okay uh, and the uh, what I'm most interesting is phenomena like uh, we speak about space that can in time that can be curved. Yeah, I, you need to think about how it's look when time and space curve. So I start to work with painting uh, 3D like this and mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. think what happened when I'm curving the space and then you have a curved paint and uh, usually the, brown, the, the infinity boundaries of nature, the things that are, we cannot we can imagine, but we cannot see. Right. We, we, we understand that they are, exist, but we, we never saw them. Okay. Yeah, this is what's interesting yeah. me. Yeah. And how long have you been, both been doing this work? Well, art, I'm sorry. How long have you been practicing art or writing? I've been doing art, um, seriously, since I was my early teen years. Okay. And I've been a professional artist. That's your passion, that's your life. Yes. And what do you say? Actually, I remember myself at six years old going to an exhibition of Agam, mm-hmm. which Moti spoke about and inspired by some of his work. Right. And your exhibition has been going global? Yes. We hope this uh, exhibition will go global. Yeah. Bruno, your, yeah. your museum is good. Your shows are global now. Yes. All our shows are always. All over the world. I wouldn't say all over, but many places. Major, major, major. Especially Asia. Yeah. You, you've been to Hong Kong, but you haven't been to China, have you been? I'm going to China in two weeks for another show. In two weeks in China? Beijing, yes. Beijing. And what about uh, other major cities or town or countries in Singapore and Asia? For now, we are Singapore, Hong Kong, Beijing and India. Yeah, so in two, next week you are in India, then you're going on to uh, China for Beijing, and then you will look Back at Hong Kong. Spread. No, that way I go back to Israel. Hong Kong will be there, I think, next time we'll be there. Okay, Hong Kong is next time. And then Israeli embassy and French embassies are arranging your show from November 10, tentatively November 10, for three weeks. Yes. And you, you, this, is, this follows on to the last May show, November, and you are going to bring their show again in? Probably in 2015. 2015, more shows, huh? Yes. Can be. Great, sir. I'm done.